Jacob Zuma. Biography, age, wife, children, parents, former president of RSA, profile, wiki. Jacob Zuma is the former president of Republic of South Africa, a position he has held from 9 May 2009 to 14 February 2018. Early life, comma, background and childhood. Jacob Jetley Lekasa Zuma was born on 12 April 1942 in Kandla, KwaZulu Natal to Jaina Maswi Zuma, a policeman, and his wife, Nabhekasis Obesi. He has two brothers, Michael and Joseph. When his father died in World War II, he and his mother moved to Mafumilo. He began to support his family through cattle shepherding from an early age, and received no formal schooling thereafter. Eventually, he taught himself to read and write. In his teenage years, he joined the African National Congress Party and its military wing. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison for conspiring to overthrow South Africa's apartheid government. After his release, he set up underground networks and continued to work for the ANC, operating from neighboring countries. When the government's ban on the ANC was lifted, he returned to the country and was elected deputy president of the country. Political career. In 1958, he joined the African National Congress ANC and the ANC Youth League Ansel. The following year, he joined the South African Congress of Trade Unions SAT II. In 1962, he joined a political study group in Katamanam Kambane, comma, and was recruited as an active member of MK, and armed wing of ANC. The following year, he was recruited into the South African Communist Party SACP. In June 1963, he left the country for military training, but was arrested along with a group of 45 recruits. They were convicted for conspiring to overthrow the government, and were sentenced to 10 years imprisonment on Robben Island. After his release in December 1973, he helped mobilize internal resistance, and was instrumental in the re-establishment of ANC underground structures in Natal between 1974 and 1975. He later became part of an initiative, led by Harry Kuala, to send young people out of the country for military training. After Kuala's arrest, he left the country in December 1975. Over the next 12 years, he operated from Southern Africa, and was involved in underground work along with Thabo Mbiki and others, supporting ANC structures operating inside South Africa. In early 1976, he secretly entered the country, to re-establish contact with activists in the Durban area. In 1977, he began working for the SACP, and completed a three-month leadership and military training course in the Soviet Union. By the end of the 1980s, he was head of the ANC Intelligence Department. In November 1990, he was elected chairperson of the ANC's Southern Natal Region. The following year, he was elected Deputy Secretary General of ANC Party. In 1993, he was involved in negotiations between the ANC and the Encarta Freedom Party IFP, comma, when violence erupted in Natal. In 1994, he was elected National Chairperson of the ANC, and then became the Chairperson of the ANC. After the government lifted ban on ANC, he returned to the country, and was elected as the ANC's deputy president. In 1999, he was appointed the deputy president of South Africa, a post he served until 2005. In 2002, he was implicated in a major corruption scandal, in connection with the trial of his close associate, Shabba Sheikh. Further controversy arose in November 2005, when he was accused of rape. The trial was heavily publicized in the media, and garnered both negative and positive public response, when he was acquitted in May 2006. Despite the negative publicity, he was reinstated as ANC's deputy president a week later. In December 2007, he was elected to the office of president of ANC. In 2009, he was elected as South Africa's fourth democratic president following his party's victory in the 2009 general election, and he took oath on May 9, 2009. In January 2014, it was reported that he would be the sole candidate for the ANC in the upcoming national election.
on 21 May 2014, following the 2014 general elections, in which the ANC retained its majority, he was elected for a second term as president by the National Assembly. On 18 December 2017, Cyril Ramaphosa was elected as president of the ANC, and subsequently pressure grew on Zuma to relinquish the office of the president of South Africa in favor of Ramaphosa. Initially Zuma resisted the pressure, but when ANC recalled him as president of South Africa, and a no-confidence motion was introduced against him in parliament, he resigned with immediate effect on 14 February 2018.